Welcome to Flash Tutorial 23, Mouse Drag Area Limitations. We're going to show you how to limit the um, a rectangular area where the mouse can be dragged. I'm going to start a new FLA. Uh, keeping action script 3, I'm making my width 500 by I'm making the width 500 and I'm keeping the height of 400 on my stage. I'm calling this first layer square. That's my object I'm going to drag around this stage. Select the rectangle tool. If you don't have a rectangle tool showing and you see the oval tool, click that menu and rectangle tool. I want a greenish color. I'm putting for my my fill and black for my stroke. I'm going to hold my shift down and make a square. I'm going to highlight it. Open the properties panel and because it's a square these two values should be equal and I want to make this 20. So if I make sure this chain is locked if I type 20 here when I hit enter this will change. So I now have a 20 by 20 square. I'm just going to put that up in the corner here for a minute. Lock that square. Insert layer. Call it drag area. D R A G A R E A. And in here, paste in place, I'm going to put a rectangle. Uh, that rectangle, if I looked at it, open the properties panel, it's a uh, actually a square 200 by 200 and the coordinates are 50 on the X which is 50 on the X and that's that little corner up here and a hundred on the Y so that's where that that sits I'm going to lock them layers select the top layer insert layer and call it coordinates C O O R coordinates and I'm going to paste, select that frame, and paste them in. These are coordinates of my stage. This is 0 on my X. This is 50 on my X. And because this box is 200 wide, this is 250. And if I come all the way over, this would be 500. Uh, 0 on my Y. There's 100 on my Y. And again, because the box square is... 200, there's 300 on my Y and 400. So that'll let me know where, I, where I'm at when I try to drag this, this square around. Now I'm going to lock all the layers again, selecting the top layer, insert a layer, call it Action Script, AS, open up the Actions panel, and we get some typing to do. Type, 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 type. We're going to start off with this event listener, SQ underscore MC. That's the name of this square. I don't know if I made it in the movie clip yet, but I will. SQ underscore MC period, add event listener, small a capital E capital L, that turns blue. Open bracket, it's a mouse event, capital M capital E period, mouse underscore down, all capital letters, uppercase, comma, I'm calling it drag square, capital D, capital S, close bracket semicolon. And we're calling the function up, function, drag square. You can copy that drag square and paste it in. Open bracket, event, small e-v-e-n-t, turns blue, colon, copy mouse event, paste it in, capital M, capital E, turns blue. Close bracket, colon, void, void and function are the same color. Open curly bracket. And this is the um, coordinates of the drag area. So square underscore MC period start drag small s capital D turns blue open bracket. And if you weren't uh, concerned where the most was allowed to drag this box, you'd have nothing here. You just have an open bracket and a closed bracket. But now we're going to add these what's called arguments. The first one is called, um, I'm calling it false. If I call it false, it means that when I click on the box up here, 
Wherever I click and start dragging, my mouse will always be there while I'm dragging. If I don't have false down here and have true, wherever I click on the box, the box will jump so that my mouse is in the center of it. Then there's a comma, new, turns purple, space, rectangle, capital R, rectangle turns blue if it's spelt right. That's the, um, the way you code this. It's called a syntax, I believe. Open bracket. And these are the coordinates. This first coordinate is the left-hand limit. In my case, it's 50 pixels. So that's my left-hand limit of where I'll be able to drag that box, right there. The next one is the 100. I have 100. That's the Y upper limit. So that's as high as I'll be able to drag that box, right there. Then we have this one. This third one here is how far from this? How far from this? So how far from the X coordinate do I want to be able to go? I'm saying 200, and 200 will take me all the way up to 250 because it's 200 more than this. And finally, this one is the Y, which works the same way. My Y is at 100. I want to go 200 more, takes me down to 300. Then I have a closed bracket for that section, another closed bracket for that section, and a semicolon. This curly, closed curly bra bracket's probably, probably already here, if not put it in. Then what you want to do is copy all this, paste it in. Change the square underscore MC to stage with a small s. Change mouse down to mouse up. Again, uppercase. Call it drag un U square. So put a U in here. Put a U in here. Everything else stays the same except here we're saying stop drag instead of start. So let's just test that out. Test test. And we'll see I have some kind of an error here and I didn't give that a instance name which I talked about and didn't fix. So I'll lock in all my layers, select the square layer, highlight it, right click on it, convert it to a symbol, make sure this center registration is selected, make sure movie clip is selected, and it's called SQ Shift underscore MC. Copy that name, open the properties panel, paste it in, and now we should be able to do that. So if I test my movie, as soon as I click on this square, it's going to jump into this area. Boom. Now notice what's going on. I can drag it, but it's actually going because all my references were made to the center point of this square. So I got to offset that in my coordinates. So I'll go back to the action code. Because my square is 20, I want to have to take half off of that. So this first coordinate is going to have to be, instead of 50, it's going to have to be 60. I want to go all the way up to 250, 250, but again, I got to be minus half of this. So it would be 240, 240 from six, and take 60 away from that. That means this one has to be 180. Okay, if I'm down here, coming down, I want to be 110. Oops, I want to be 110. And again, I want to be, because this is the same logic, uh, I want to be down here to 290. 290 subtract 110 will give me, again, 180. And this should have been 110. There. So, let's try that again. Control, test, movie, test. I'll click it. It jumps now. See how it's nice right there? And I can't go that way. It limits it. Now, 
something about this setup if I and once I click on it even if I come outside of the area remember it's not this box that's stopping it it's these coordinates that are stopping it that box is just to explain it now I gotta click on it again and once I go outside I can still click on it if you don't want that to happen then you can add the code that is called mouse out so let's add that code so the type in you're going to type in some more code so how we're going to do it copy from here to here right click copy that come down to here put a couple enters instead of having here mouse underscore up put mouse underscore out out all capitals uppercase change this u here to an o change this u here to an o and the rest stays the same now when we test it as soon as i click on it it jumps in and now if i go slow and come off it doesn't move but there still is the problem you have if you move this too fast with that mouse out you lose it but most likely this is going to, if you're going to use this as some kind of game it's and you're restricting it it's possible that if what you're playing allows you to move the most and still be successful then this is great if if you have to move the most fast in this area then I would take this out function off my code now there's one last thing I want to demonstrate and that's this false parameter here which if I test it out I want to make sure you can see this if I click on it when I click on it I'm gonna grab the corner and wherever I go it always wants to the cursor wants to stay in that spot that's the false function if I make the function true T R U E true and test it out now notice even if I click down here in the corner watch it jump to center it and now when I no matter where I click it it wants to always center on the mouse and now it wants to stay centered on the cursor see watch click it'll jump down to here I'm going to put that back to false I hope you learned something from this short tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.